Hello, my name is Amy Carter, and I'm pastor at Mayflower Congregational United Church of Christ in Billings, Montana, and I want to welcome you into this time of worship. This is the fifth week of our worship series, Beguiled by Beauty, Cultivating a Life of Contemplation and Compassion. This worship service was created by Dr. Marsha McPhee of Worship Design Studio, who is collaborating with Dr. Wendy Farley, professor at San Francisco Theological Seminary. Last week, we explored how beauty can open us up to mystery and wonder. And this week, we are going to take a deeper look at what it means to love your neighbor as yourself and to understand that a love that comes from God is a love that delights in us just the way we are. So please remember that no matter who you are or where you have been on life's journey, you are welcome here. When we accept the non-utilitarian goodness of life, a world that doesn't need a why, we tune into the raw delight in the world. Beauty decenters our ego by helping us realize that life is its own justification. As we let go of how everything relates to us, serves us, benefits us, we begin to appreciate all things for their own worth and beauty and our desire for their flourishing intensifies. When we turn this idea onto our own selves, we can let go of the expectations of others and the societal standards of beauty in regard to our own worth.
Let's join together in our opening prayer. Divine goodness, Holy One, pause us for this moment. Bear us up in this time. Hold us for eternity. We tune our spirits to truth. We begin to let go of expectations. We allow all beings the fullness of their own beauty. Amen.